Hi, I'm Omar. And I'm Mia. And this is Hey! That's on Netflix Instant Watch, where each week we tell you five things to watch on Netflix Instant Watch based on a viewer profile. This week's viewer profile, PBS Tote Bagger. How do you know if you're a PBS Tote Bagger? You actually donated money during a PBS telethon so that you could get the tote bag with the little dude's face on it. Chances are you also are an avid NPR listener. But what are you listening to, Pat Oswalt? Maybe it's something that comes oh, no. deep with it. I read Glass. I remember last summer I was reading And you have forwarded that Mr. Rogers remix autotune video to literally everyone you know. Hey, Bailey. Did, did you see it on your Facebook? I know. Now, keep in mind that this list isn't going to solely be PBS programming, but it is going to be a list of things in that spirit, like that educational PBS sentiment. So here's our list. Number five is TED Talks. Now, TED Talks is like Comic-Con, but for geniuses. Netflix has a huge catalog of TED Talks, all the way from science to movie stars. So if you're interested in just all things smart, TED Talks is the place to go. Now we could talk about TED Talks for hours, but we're not going to because we're thinking of doing a special telling you which TED Talk episodes to watch. Spoiler alert, it's all of them. Number four is How It's Made. This is a science channel show uh, showing you how things are made. It takes you behind the scenes, often getting footage from factories, sometimes you don't even know what you're looking at until it all comes together at the end. It's uh, really kind of beautiful. It's kind of like in Mr. Rogers when they would like go on a field trip to go see how a trumpet was made or something. And it's a really good show to fold laundry to. Number three is Carl Sagan's The Cosmos. Now there are a lot of universe shows on Netflix Insta Watch, but if you want to go straight to the classic, it's Carl Sagan's The Cosmos. Now what's so great about PBS programming and educational programming at large is that it's not always about the research, it's about the inspirational individuals behind the information. This isn't just learning about the universe, it's considering our part in it. And it's really nice for us in Los Angeles to watch the show because we don't exactly have the best night sky. Hey, where are you going? I am going stargazing. But it's daylight. Yes, but during the day I get to see at least one star. The sun. Number two is Blue Planet. Blue Planet is a documentary series about underwater creatures and it is narrated by David Attenborough. If you hear David Attenborough's voice on a nature documentary, that is like a seal of approval. It's like the Criterion Collection stamp all over that video. For me, it's David Attenborough, Sigourney Weaver, and then Oprah Winfrey is somewhere below the list. And number one is Being Elmo. I just recently watched Being Elmo the other day. It is a documentary about the guy who is the voice of Elmo, he's a puppeteer, and he also created Elmo. And it earns the number one spot on our list because it is PBS-tastic. Mostly because you actually get to see like old footage from Sesame Street sprinkled in throughout the documentary. You get to see uh, clips from Jim Henson teaching kids how to make puppets, which was also like a little PBS segment that they had done. And of course you get to follow the journey of this inner city kid who definitely had his own weird creative streak rise to live out his dream. Not a perfect documentary, but a feel-good documentary. So that's our list. What are your favorite PBS shows or educational shows? Leave your answers in the comments below. Also, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our videos and support us and you want to get notifications and when we put out new videos. And it's free, in case you're wondering. It is free, so don't worry about that, because that did come up. I, uh, my dad didn't know that it was free to subscribe to something on YouTube, so he told me in my next video that I should like explain exactly what subscribe is. It, it was an anonymous question that came up. It wasn't necessarily John. Several people could have wondered. You didn't have to say his name. And as always, you can check us out on Twitter. It oh, is... oh no, can you do it in your like Ira Glass impersonation? As always, you can check us out on Twitter. You can visit our blog where we update with instant watch reviews throughout the week. And you can check out our Facebook page. Yes, we have a Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash I want to say a special thank you to our producer Alex Bloomberg, who during the week had a very difficult issue with some sharp pencils. It was really hard. You guys have really good points. Bye. Bye. You too. It's in our homes, it's on our computers, but is it on our minds? This is something I've been thinking about. Do we make YouTube videos? Or do YouTube videos make us?